Hi, I'm Shayla Worley. I was a nine-time U.S. national team member and actually went to world championships and won gold there in Germany. We were the first team to ever win gold on foreign soil back in 2007. After that career, I went to the University of Georgia and became an All-American. Go dogs! Throughout my entire gymnastics career, I think setting goals was really important and something I did on a regular basis. I had short-term goals, so daily, what was I gonna do that day and achieve in practice? What corrections was I gonna make? But I also had more longer term and very long term goals. So long term obviously being going to the Olympics. That's very long, but short term and medium term were like maybe this year, what am I going to achieve? What assignments did I want to get when I was going to the national team camp? But then of course, like I said, daily goals and writing them down and constantly reminding yourself because you do get kind of down in the dump sometimes when practices are hard. And so you have to constantly remind yourself why you're doing these things. Why are you taking the extra turns, making the effort? Um, and you know, why are the sacrifices that you're making and your family are making, what's the point of them? And so I think remind yourselves of daily goals is, is really important. For me, the hardest part of gymnastics was just staying healthy. Um, you know, I trained about 45 hours a week twice a day. I started going to practice early in third grade. I started leaving school early. And then I started doing two day practices at the end of fifth grade. Um, and so all that strain on your body, you know, with my body type, I just couldn't really quite take that level of intensity. So I continuously had broken ankles. Um, a lot of mine were chronic issues such as back issues, hamstring problems. And so that was the most frustrating part is that I was trying to achieve all of these things but constantly having these roadblocks where I couldn't practice. So if I could have just stayed healthy, I think uh, gymnastics would have been a whole lot easier. I think I had a lot of role models. Um, some of them being my teammates right next to me that were in the trenches every single day. Um, some of the girls that went to college, they'd come back and train and I really admired them. Actually, it was telling somebody this story the other day. My first day walking into Orlando Metro, I had a teammate, Melanie Sinclair. She was already on national team and I had just competed level six. And I walked in and I watched her bar routine and she got off and she was in the chalk box and I said, hey, Mel, how do you remember your bar routine? It's so long. <laughs> so it was really funny that, you know, I was in awe with her and then I ended up training alongside her. We were on national team together at the same time. And even to this day, I saw her last weekend at my sister's baby shower. So those relationships are maintained forever. Um, so I think that it might start as a role model, but then it develops into a friendship and that's really special. I don't necessarily say it's the most proud of, but I think it makes it unique is that I have a skill named after me on beam, which is a lot harder than you might think because not only do you have to create a unique skill and be able to do it, but you have to actually do it successfully at a world championships or Olympics. So that knocks a lot of people out of the box for, you know, if only five girls a year might even make the U.S. team for Worlds or the Olympics, it's kind of difficult. And then you have to actually compete that event, which we all know that not every girl competes every event. So it's a lot harder than you think to have a skill named after you. And I think that I'm proud of that. I think that goals, going to the Olympics, that type of thing is really great. And I wish that for plenty of, of gymnasts. But I think the reality is, is that you're gonna get so many more things out of the sport that aren't specific goals. You're gonna get lifetime skills, time management, excellence, discipline, ability to be coached. That's a really big one for the rest of your life. And so while it might be nice to have gold medals, I think that what will separate you for the rest of your life are some of these core life skills that you get from sports and especially from gymnastics. So after my gymnastics career, I actually went and got my MBA in finance and now I work for JP Morgan doing wealth management and helping folks on both sides of their balance sheet. I think every single day, some of the fundamentals I learned in gymnastics, I fall back on all the time. One of them probably being time management. I think that doing anything with excellence at a high level requires a lot of dedication, but more importantly, it requires time management and especially throughout college when you're now being expected to perform high in the classroom and with gymnastics. Um, and so with what I do for work, time management is critical 
and I think that's probably one of the best things I took away from gymnastics. So I transitioned out of gymnastics into the business world, but I do still spend my summers traveling to camps across the country, um, working with little gymnasts, and that for me is the best way to stay involved in the sport. I think it's the most purest form of giving back. and you know, pouring into these kids and watching them make little corrections and it's really exciting and it, it reminds me kind of why I love the sport so much and it's great to be able to bring the same excitement to other little girls.